Lively, stay on it for us. We appreciate it. President Obama promising nearly $1 billion to help the Palestinian people. Now, the idea is to bypass groups like Hamas and Hezbollah, but is enough being done to make sure this American taxpayer cash doesn't fall into the hands of terrorists? Eric Sean takes a look. It's a plea for the people of Gaza, soliciting donations to UNRWA, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, the main humanitarian group serving Palestinian refugees. The U.S. is giving $900 million to help the Palestinian people. One-third of that will go help rebuild Hamas-controlled Gaza. But critics are warning the money going to UNRWA could wind up in the hands of terrorists. U.S. taxpayer dollars can go and indeed do go to terrorist organizations and members of terrorist organizations. Florida Congresswoman Eliana Ross-Leitinen has threatened to stop the money. She says UNRWA has been infiltrated by Hamas, which the U.S. classifies as a terrorist organization. For example, the UNRWA website directs donors to the Commercial Bank of Syria. Fox News has found the bank is designated by the U.S. Treasury Department as a primary money laundering concern that is accused of suspected terrorist financing, including handling accounts for a reputed financial backer of Osama bin Laden. Why are we giving out so much money to an organization of the United Nations that has no transparency, no accountability, answers to no one, and actually is anti-U.S.? A recent report from the Washington Institute for Near East Policy says UNRWA has to stop echoing the Hamas political message and do more to stop any connection to terrorists, such as accusations that UNRWA ambulances have been used to carry weapons and explosives. Anyone is seen to be engaging in um, political activities which are incompatible with UN values and US standards. We have a zero tolerance policy towards that. UNRWA spokesman Christopher Gunnis says his agency is not aligned with Hamas and its use of American taxpayer money will only go to humanitarian purposes. I think the war in Gaza has shown that we're an organization which is apolitical, which enjoys the confidence of our donors. And that was Eric Sean reporting. And by the way, we're getting some news right now that we're expecting uh, the White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs to be talking soon. We'll be following that development as soon as it's made available. And my